couldn't find any teardown for the Anchor uh, 13,000 milliamp battery. I've seen plenty for the 26,000 and the 21,000, but this is the uh, 13,000. So all I've done so far, I just ran a Dremel along that edge there, the cutoff wheel. Ran that down that seam. Apparently these are glued together pretty intensely. So you kind of just have to cut them open. So now I'm gonna get in here with my screwdriver and there's a couple spots where I went all the way through the case I can kind of pry it apart, I hope. You can see one of the cells in there. And I believe these cells are sort of glued into the top and the bottom, so this might be... Oh, that wasn't so bad. Yeah, there you go. So it looks like it's got four cells in there. Now, the reason I'm taking this apart, I've got a project where I need to sort of save as much space as possible but also I need to wire up this button. So when you have something plugged in here via USB, uh, if it doesn't draw power for long enough, this board just shuts power off and it won't power back up again until you press this button, these LEDs here. So my project is gonna be completely enclosed and I'm not gonna have access to this button. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disassemble, hopefully wire, run the leads from this button to another external button on the case and that button you'll press, which will wake this up, which will then wake up all of my other components. So there we go. Um, yeah, I'll have to look and see what's involved in now taking this off the bottom half of the case. So maybe I'll play with that a little bit and come back and see if I can get it completely out of here. I think I've noticed I'm just kind of flexing this and it looks like it's coming away from the board kind of automatically. So maybe there isn't any more glue in here. I can just sort of pry this out of here. I think the cells might be glued. They feel a little stuck in there. Yeah, there's a little bit of glue in there I can see. There we go. as long as these two leads here stay connected. Ah, there we go. I've got a uh, heat gun. I'm going to run over this and try to peel these off. And this is like some padding that's also sort of glued on there. Cool. There's those LEDs. It looks like they just kind of have a little window here to project through these little holes. I'd love to be able to reuse this and show uh, the power level in my box. So I might try to position this somehow so I can line these LEDs up again with this window and actually show that on mine. Drill four little holes. But there we go. So there's inside the Anchor uh, 13,000 milliamp battery. Yeah, the, that glue came off real nice with the uh, heat gun. And then there's just a little bit of residue, and I used the uh, goo gone to get that off of there. So that's one side. I might just leave that on there. It actually doesn't look that bad. Provides a little bit of cushion. Here's what I ended up doing with that anchor battery. So I separated the control board from the actual battery pack. So I could mount them separate from each other. I want access to these lights to show on one part of the enclosure, but then the battery can go anywhere else. And with them attached, the battery back here, I just didn't have enough room to put that put that piece in there. So I cut those and then uh, took some, I think this is 18 gauge wire, and kind of fanned it out and soldered it on those original contact points. And then over here, where I cut the straps, just soldered them on there. So it should be, should be pretty good. I might add, just add a little bit of hot glue around there, maybe for some string relief. And put a little bit of hot glue there, but 
yeah. I put these little quick disconnects in the middle, so in case I need to separate the two halves of the enclosure from each other, I can uh, do that. So 